Pretty great. There's so many new and interesting things, not to mention all the tasty food. Sumeru's largest commercial point sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants, and everyone seems excited just to be here. Uh, how did things end up like this? All thanks to your artistic license, that's how. Uh, I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. But when I finished the prototype Aranara yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. That's why we tried bringing it out for a test run today. Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, what should we... Whoa. Yeah, compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. What's going on? Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and he's a traveler who is just passing by. Is there something bothering you? Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Prototype Aranara? Uh, you mean this wood carving here? It looks like a mushroom monster to Paimon. Uh, oh, there we have it. The verdict is in. Uh, what a headache. Not the first negative feedback we've had. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So, for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? No. Worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. This is not an Aranara. I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Hmm. Toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tonder said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. It's nothing like an Aranara. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it, it doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Oh, a positive review! Yeah, so I would totally ask my dad to get it for me. If it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe, uh, grown on them at all? Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondorvaville yet? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra, too. Who is he exactly? Uncle Tonger is a famous children's author here in Port. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. 
Uh, just like... But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something. And suddenly the children loved every one of his stories. That's right. My little Gafari loves his stories too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among children. We asked Tanja for guidance, but right after he agreed, he went off to Gandharvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imagination. As you can see, this was a result. Oh, we have to do some- Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tanjur in Gandharvaville, hmm? Uh, he doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, uh, if you could. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. Uh, and, of course, you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. They seem pretty desperate. <laughs> Let's help them out. To see the kids smile. And also for our reward. Yep, let Gandharvaville looking for inspiration, but how do we find him? Should we yell his name at the top of our lungs? Hey, buddy, what's your name? What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gandharvaville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rosie. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gandharvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh, that voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. Oh, it's Kale! And a child who seems to be upset. Oh, let's go say hi. Hi, Kale. How have you been? Huh. I'm on a traveler. <sighs> I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm help- We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for- You seem kinda busy, though. <sighs> um, I'll be fine. You go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. <sighs> the sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well-mannered child. Sands? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R &R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. 
Maybe there really are R&R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R stories too? Of course. I love them. Oh, people who like R&R are the best. <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow, Koei's so good with kids! <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not... Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gandarverville, looking for inspiration. Uh, wait, when you say Tanja, do you mean THE Tanja? That's right, Uncle Tanja! So he's in the area, looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? This is amazing! <sighs> Can you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razzy back to Gandaverville and then I'll be right back! I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. <sighs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> wait! Hold on! Rossi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Tanja's your dad! As in you're Tanja's son? Uh-huh. Ah! Paimon sees! That guy at Akara Crash told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Rossi! Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... We had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gandarverville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Razi! I thought we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja. Oh. Hmm, so Tanja headed this way. 